Have you ever thought to yourself, why is the sky blue but not violet? Why are the plants green? And what if we grow them in green light? And why is it easier to look at the sun while wearing glasses? Well, all these answers to these fundamental questions lies within the incredible electromagnetic spectrum. Light, it is a very eerie thing. It isn't just what we see around us, but it is also what surrounds us that we cannot see. Like right now, all the lights are turned off, but there is still plenty of light. But my eyes are just not compatible enough to see them. So all the light that we can see and we cannot see sums up to form the electromagnetic spectrum. Light is created by an oscillating electron, which further creates an oscillating magnetic field and an oscillating electric field, which in simple term is known as an electromagnetic wave. So the radiations or light emitted by the sun, which is white, not yellow, can be observed on the electromagnetic spe electromagnetic spectrum consists of gamma rays, x-rays, ultraviolet, a visible light spectrum, infrared, which most of us all homo sapiens emit, and next are microwaves, and the most humongous of them all are the radio waves. The wavelengths are even bigger than mountain. So when white light enters our atmosphere, when it collides with the particle, it gets scattered into seven different colors famously known as the vip cure. Well, the scattered colors are the reason we see everything around us. Lord Rayleigh, who had one of the most coolest beer in the history of scientists, made a statement. He said that the wavelength of blue light is the least, so it will have a higher probability of colliding with the particles in the atmosphere, unlike red, as its wavelength is the longest. But you might think now, as the wavelength of violet is even lower than the wavelength of blue light, so why isn't the sky violet? Why is it blue? Well, there are two answers to that. The first one is that us homo sapiens have a tendency to perceive blue light better than violet light. And the second appropriate answer is that our atmospheric particles are placed in such manner that they filter the ultraviolet light. So violet being the most nearest to it also gets filtered. So as the wavelength of red is the longest of them all, that is why it is used in dangerous science. Because it can be seen from far distances. Hey there! Now I know you're gonna say this plant is green, right? But what if I tell you a plant was never green? But it is every other color than green. Sounds weird, right? As we already know how light scatters in our atmosphere. That is why the chlorophyll present on the surface of a leaf or a plant absorbs all sorts of scattered light, except green. So that is why it rejects its back. So if you ever try to grow a plant in green light that it doesn't accept, all you're gonna get is one week of disappointment and a waste of wood toil. So now as I've told you enough about the EM spectrum and light, I'm just gonna tell you one thing. Don't be a bad light on others. Because bad light always ends up in...